Hello everyone, if you don't know me, my name is Janika and I am an expat from Finland, living in the Netherlands. Welcome to this vlog. Today we are in the city of Harlem. Harlem is a really lovely city located in the province of North Holland. It takes less than 20 minutes to reach from Amsterdam by train, making it an ideal day trip destination. Harlem is also known as Little Amsterdam, as it's almost like a smaller version of the city. But Harlem also has its own unique character to it. I just took the train here from Leiden and as it is springtime I got to enjoy some really beautiful views over all the tulip fields that are blooming at the moment. Today's plan is to spend the day here and explore it together with you guys and yeah I have a lot of fun things planned for today. By the way, I am sorry if I seem a little off in this video. I was having a migraine whilst filming that day and wasn't feeling the best because of it and because I am stubborn and didn't want to miss an upload I decided to push through instead. First things first, let's go and have some brunch because I haven't really eaten anything yet and I'm starting to get quite hungry. Luckily I know just a place where to go. That was really lovely. I really enjoyed the French toast that I had. And now the next thing we're going to is the big market square here and also the big church. And luckily the cafe is very close by. You can already see the church from here. Let's go and check it out. Okay, so seems like there is some kind of a fun fair going on here in Harlem and I'm not sure what what exactly it is but yeah the whole market square here is filled with different kind of like fun fair rides there's a ferris wheel and everything but yeah this is definitely not how it normally <laughs> looks like here there's some kind of special event going on clearly but our destination is the church over there so we might as well walk through the fun fair I'm a bit bummed because originally they had promised that it was supposed to be a really warm and sunny day today and I even postponed coming here from last week to this week because yeah I thought the weather was gonna be really good instead I ended up getting quite a cloudy and windy and chilly day 
Um, if I would have come last week, the weather would have been better actually. So yeah, you never really know with the weather here in the Netherlands. Always be prepared for anything and everything. This here is probably one of my favorite like viewpoint spots here in Harlem. Those two houses are really cute and they kind of look like gingerbread houses and then here with the bridge. So yeah, if you're looking for a nice photo spot for example here in Harlem, I would recommend coming here. Next, I'm going to be visiting this big windmill over here. It is called Molen de Adrian. And yeah, I believe it is the most well-known windmill that is here in Harlem. I've often passed by and taken pictures of it, but I have actually never visited the inside of this windmill. I've been to other windmills, but not this one. So I thought it could be a fun idea to go and visit it. The thing is I came a bit early and it seems like the windmill opens surprisingly late. Um, it is now quarter to one and the windmill opens at one. But yeah, I don't mind sitting and relaxing for yeah 15 minutes before it opens. I found a nice bench that is located right by the water. Oh wow, we're even getting a little bit of sunshine. How nice. <laughs> My name is Ben, I'm your guide in the next 30-45 uh, minutes. We start here in the sun, so you can see the surroundings. During the tour we got to learn about windmills in general and also about this specific windmill. Windmill Adrian is actually a replica of the original one, but that one was burnt down in 1932. And then this one was rebuilt 70 years later. The tour was really interesting and fun. Climbs up all the way up to oh, put on the to put oh, okay. on the uh, to put on the sails, mm -hmm. and they do it without any uh, security. I just did a tour of the windmill. I didn't actually realize beforehand that it was going to be like a proper tour with a tour guide and everything. But yeah, it was really nice uh, to actually have a tour guide who, yeah, I got to learn a lot of new things and it was very interesting. Now next I'm going to visit this building here. So this building where I am now is actually a former prison, apparently this is something I just learned during the visit to the windmill. 
is that the reason it is built to be like circular is because they then had the guard in the middle of the prison and this way you only needed one guard in order to see all around. Nowadays this is not a prison anymore but here you can find for example some cafes and a cinema and there seems to be like office spaces and that kind of things. So yeah, it's a pretty cool place where to just come and have a look or maybe to visit one of the cafes. Um, I would love to visit the cinema here. Like how cool would it be to watch a movie in an old prison? I don't know, that sounds very cool to me. But I think that's maybe something I would rather do together with someone and not alone. But I'm sure I will revisit someday and maybe, yeah, I guess this could be the perfect date night spot, for example. And like they even have all the old prison cells left. Uh, yeah, it looks pretty cool. I wonder what it looks like if we look inside of a prison cell. Okay, yeah, this is definitely <laughs> being used as something else right now. I think these are all like tiny office spaces or something like that. Yeah, it's a pretty cool spot. Here you can see a bit of a picture of how the prison worked. So you had the guard here and then all the prison cells around. And yeah, I guess these are photos from when this place was actually a prison. It's pretty cool. They seem to even have a university campus here in this prison. actually done that in Harlem before so I'm really excited to see Harlem from a new point of view. The boat goes every half an hour and you could choose if you wanted to do an open air or closed boat. I wanted to do an open air one despite the weather not being the best. They provided blankets and even umbrellas but luckily we didn't need to use those. The ride takes about 50 minutes. Today we will cruise across the Sparne and share with you some interesting facts about Harlem along the way. I'm not now gonna have fries, but if you ever find yourself in Harlem and craving some fries, then this is the best spot to come to. It's very, very good. And also in a very central location. I was starting to feel quite hungry after yeah, walking all day and exploring. So I came to this little bread shop. It felt a bit like a, I don't know, local subway. And I got myself this caprese bread. So yeah. I'm gonna start heading home now. I hope you guys have enjoyed tagging along to this day around Harlem. Let me know, have you ever visited Harlem? And if not, would you maybe like to? And yeah, if you like this video, remember to give it a thumbs up and you can leave a comment down below if you have any questions or suggestions or anything that's on your heart. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys again on my next adventure. Bye bye.